So very recently, I decided to invest in some Godox flashes. This is not a sponsored video, but they make great products. I use it in a couple weddings recently, and I can't believe that in my near 11 years of experience in photography, I've never invested in flashes. It's kind of a game changer if you did, if you really didn't know. But before buying these, I thought about like the multiple uses I would have out of these flashes besides weddings. Like of course, like in studio or portrait photography, I can like bounce this all across the walls for like diffusion place like a little bulb on this, place gels on it, and everybody knows like how flashes are typically used and how they can also be used in other creative ways. But in this video, I show you guys how you can make your own gobo setup in the comfort of your own home with very ghetto materials. All right, my people, you know that I've invested a pretty penny in some very costly pieces of equipment, but there are some things that I really just don't want to spend any money on at all. And check out this super ghetto setup. If that is not the most ghetto thing that you have ever seen, I don't know what is. This is my Godox uh, speed light, a roll of toilet paper, just some blue painter's tape to like make a little pattern for this light to come out two boxes of Ilford HP5 and two Tiffin cases to make this whole thing stand up. And this toilet paper is just attached by four pieces of scotch tape. Right here we have the Canon EOS R and we're running uh, an off-camera flash unit to kind of like control that thing. And I'm using my phone as a little remote and screen. But oh my goodness, like this whole thing can be run off of like just this thing alone, but I needed this to like kind of support it because the four pieces of scotch tape that I used are kind of weak, so that's just to hold it up there. I'm super stoked to show you guys the results because no lie, some like focusing snoo gobo lights are really expensive, but I don't want to spend any money on it, personally speaking. You can, you totally can if you want, but wait till you see these results. Check it out. All right, so you saw the results. Is the setup just way too janky or does it actually work? Me personally, I think it actually works. So now we're going to move on. Instead of just doing a slit outside of the exit of the toilet paper roll, I tried to do the, like this really like focused telescopic look where like there was just one focused um, light on my eye, but I guess like with physics, like the entryway, yada, 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 it's not focused. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Like with the toilet paper and like the length of it and the diameter of the exit, the light is just not focused. So to combat that, I'm gonna be using a PVC pipe and I'm going to be inserting right through there so that it, all the light is just focused out of this exit and it should work. It should work in theory or hypothetically speaking. So we'll get the setup. This is going to be really hard to like hold up. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. So you're gonna see another ghetto setup. All right, I did it. I set it up just right on my chair and it's lined up all the way with the flash unit and this should work. It really should or else I just have a really dumb video idea for no good reason. So now you guys have seen that the results can prove that you can make your own little gobo setup right here with your flash unit, some toilet paper, some tape, PVC pipe, something to stand it up with. and. Seriously, I really hope that you guys come up with a better idea than me. This was so mad ghetto. I hope that you guys can come up with something even neater or even way ghettoer. And please tag me at Who's Chris Chu on Instagram so that I can see your guys' creative work. Go out there, shoot, create something super cool in the comfort of your own bedroom. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and comment down below of what you guys think and how I should budget better in terms of photography equipment and i'll see you guys and girls in the next video peace